y'all ever get tortured by song? Atrocious. <laughs> Good morning, Wagwanin. Getting ready to go out on the boat. It's a beautiful day. It was raining a little bit, a little drizzle here and there. But all in all, you know, a day on the water. Yeah, baby. Welcome back over here down in Crumbie. Boat is in the water and we're ready to take off. It's a bit of a windy day, so I don't know what the water is looking like, but we we'll guess we're about to find out. So we have a plan B in case what we're thinking doesn't work out. <laughs> Soon after replacing the failed engine on the boat, the guys found a really nice spot near Mermaid's chair. For dive one, we are attempting to dive that same area. I'm told there is an underwater passageway and lots of lines for chair. That's where you can go through, right? It's time to gear up. I probably should have done this before I boarded the boat. There's not much room to move around. Well, the current is definitely kicking over here. We're in search of the underwater passageway as well as lionfish and really anything big enough to shoot. We take care in avoiding all coral, but even more so cautious about avoiding fire coral. As its name suggests, it will inflict a red-hot burn upon anyone who comes in contact with it. I am at the mercy of the current. I don't fight it, 
Rather, I stay in the ebb and flow. The boys hang out on the corner and lionfish like to chill on the ledges and overhangs. Time to sniff them out. There they go. This is the type of area where they tend to hang out. I don't have the lionfish bag or my dive scissors with me. So the next best thing is to clip the spines off with my knife. I do not recommend. Once the spines are gone, I can place them in my mesh bag that I do have with me. I leave no space left on search. It's a good thing I have my long pole spare on hand. It gives me the extra reach I need for these deeper crevices. With half the dive objective complete, the passageway is found. Our dive one mission accomplished. There it is. What's on the other side, I wonder? A passage back in time? The fountain of youth? Maybe the biggest lionfish my eyes ever did see. Or just some more fire coal. I guess that's cool too. And back there we go one more time. Because it's not every day you find an underwater passageway of endless possibilities. Hello guys, we are back. We just did one dive. Look at how beautiful it is over here. Vibes bro, vibes. Check it out. 
it out, check it out, check it out. I think we got some reef. Super duper duper clear. It's majorly cloudy in the water over here for dive number two at Blackport Reef, just off of Brewers Bay Beach. There's a lot of particulates floating in the water column, making visibility less than desirable. There is little to no current here on this dive. Yeah, that lobster is as big as it looks. I've been practicing catching lobster by hand and only want to use a snare to prevent the lobster from sheltering in a hole that could be deeper than my arm's reach. After a bit of swimming, the slope at this reef is so steep that it becomes a reef wall. The bottom sits at about 65 feet. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have a lane snapper lined up on my scope. But like the ninjas they are, he dodges after getting hit. I find him again and try to give chase, but he gives me the slip. Time to head back to surface, so I inflate my DSMB to alert the cavalry. Tiny boat problems. You don't have to dive to get wet.